So last week I put up a video from Calgary Barbell and it went over very well with everyone. In fact, I think he ended up tripling their subscriber count in the week since it's been live. And I subscribe to a ton of channels out there. Some people even have single digit numbers of subscribers, but I have some kind of interaction with them where I just like watching and following their progress up to the million count. But the way that YouTube is set up these days is it typically only promotes people that are already very popular, meaning that the big channels only get bigger and the small guys kind of fly under the radar and just no one ever sees them. So the channel I wanna direct you guys to today is one by Zach Kravitz, one I've been watching for a long time. And he's really gone through a transition where he used to be solely focused on fitness and still does fitness stuff, but he does a lot more vlogging these days. And it's interesting to me only because if you ask me if I like vlogs, my answer would probably be hell no, I do not like vlogs. I find them uninteresting, they're boring, I don't get anything out of them. But Zach's really found a way to put them together into these stories that I really can't get enough of. In fact, I reached out to him and asked if he'd be willing to make one for my channel because I wanted to promote him, get more eyes on what he does. And Zach's been someone who's competed in bodybuilding, powerlifting, he's a personal trainer. But the way he edits a video and the way he shoots things is just really appealing to me. And I think you guys will enjoy it as well. So check out his video and check out his channel, which will be linked in the description. Let me know what you think about it. So this is what 160,000 subscribers looks like. Huh. I just fade I away. Feel it. Fade I feel away. It. I fade away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think too much. I feel it. Your love is All right, welcome to Chicago. I haven't been here in a few weeks because I broke my thumb. It's a lot noisier than I remembered, but uh, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do for this vlog and. I want to show you around Chicago, but not just the touristy areas, the places that no one really talks about or goes to. And these places, most of them, I haven't been to either. So let's check it out. The first stop is the Field Museum. Now, I know what I said about not going to touristy areas, but they are hosting a tattoo exhibit for the very first time and I recently just got my very first tattoo. Now I'm trying to find the International Museum of Surgical Science. Uh, a buddy of mine told me to go there. Apparently it's very hard to find. This place is slightly creeping me out. All right, I am currently at Graceland Cemetery in the city. And this place is absolutely massive. I have never been here before, but it is huge. The reason we're here right now is because there is a grave. At this grave is a statue. It was built in 1909. It's called Eternal Silence. Legend has it that if you stare into his eyes, you will see the nature of your own death. So we're gonna find it.
this has got to be the most terrifying yet beautiful statue I think I've ever seen. Probably more on the terrifying end, but we're here. We made it. All right, I am in Andersonville, or Uptown, or Ravens. I don't know where the f I am. It's my mom's birthday today. I have to go pick up a gift for her. My buddy sent me to this place called Woolly Mammoth, I believe, and it's an antique shop. I've heard it's very unique. done with Chicago that was a little too much for me I need to get home and I need to train yeah I do I actually do lift uh, sorta right now uh, because of this break it down break it down yeah break it down break it down yeah, the wake up is happening, gone for six days Well homie, I'm back again, working on records I'm riding the plane, 17 hours a day I quit my job and I'm making a living From notes to my phone, shout out to Swaggy I'm all on the globe, shout out to Sam overseas Buzzing it's nuts, everybody on these Music's a drug, I did so deep Hollywood all the way to the... Okay, so, pretty decent workout there I have to make these look somewhat cool uh, Just because of this guy I can't do what I typically do in the weight room uh, I broke my thumb attempting a 600 pound deadlift. It's actually my fourth time attempting 600 pounds and uh, I continue to fail. Fortunately, I got all of that on film. So that video is on my channel along with all the other attempts. I wanna take a moment really quick to tell you who I am, what I do, and what my channel is all about. I am a cinematographer. Uh, that is my true passion. That is what I love to do. Uh, the most. I am also a personal trainer. I do that on the side. It's fun for me to combine the two. I've competed in bodybuilding. I've competed in powerlifting. Bodybuilding for me, that was a one and done. Powerlifting, I, I love it and I'm going to continue to powerlift. And that's probably how Brandon found my channel. I don't know. I don't know how he finds us. And I try to bring something fresh, something unique to the table. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Today's video, it was more creepy than I thought it would be. I don't know what I was thinking to be honest, but <laughs> you know, it is what it is. That was the vlog for today. Anyways, I wanna thank Brandon Campbell for allowing me to do this. I don't know many channels that, that do what he does featuring such small channels. Um, the, sorry. Um, yeah, it, it's just really, it's really cool for him to do that. And what the? This is Zach. Hey Zach, it's Brandon Campbell. I need you to make me a video. Uh, work so fucking much, my greatest fear is I'ma die alone. Every diamond in my chain, yeah, that's a milestone. I'm loving it, I'm People loving it. calling me, asking me for money, man. Uh, the only thing I'ma give you motherfuckers is yeah. a dial We, uh, we have squats today. Oh, f no. Yeah. No. Yep. 